well, I'm going to start by asking if you could just tell us a little bit about what Pudsey the Dog the movie is all about. Well, first of all, it's a very family film and very, very British. Um, it starts off in a city, uh, London, and uh, Pudsey thinks he doesn't need anybody. He's a little bit of a loner. Um, and then he meets a family, um, which he thinks he doesn't need, but really he does. And um, they move to the country. Pudsey, Pudsey follows when he's not meant to, gets into a lot of trouble, but uh, saves the day at the end. Wow. And as, as Pudsey is obviously the most famous dog in this country, shooting in, in London, especially central London, did that sort of, did that become a bit of a, a task? Were there quite a few crowds at times? Yeah, it was really, really difficult. Um, and obviously when you're trying to film a movie, it's all meant to be natural. So people were like waving in the background and like, hey, mom. Um, and we were like, no, you can't do that. We're doing a movie. Um, but no, it wasn't too bad. Uh, Pudsey had to have his like dog buggy with him. So when we was like walking around um, to stop people kind of crowding him, he went into his dog buggy. But no, 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 dog buggy. I can't say buggy. Dog buggy. There we go. I've talked a lot today. <laughs> And that, it, were the days quite sort of long and, and tiring though? I mean, because obviously you're not in the film yourself, but it must have been quite a task of always being kind of on call and helping Pudsey get through the day. Yeah, I mean, the filming was only five weeks, which is quite short. But for those five weeks, we were literally living Pudsey the movie. Um, but it was good fun. They were long days, but um, with film work, especially for Pudsey, uh, he he just went to sleep, and then when we were setting up cameras, me the di me and the uh, Nick the director would go and talk about the next scene. He'd still be asleep, and then ten minutes I'd wake him up, and then he'd be filming. So uh, he liked it. Cameras and sleep, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the what was the biggest challenge in making this movie? Probably trying to get Pudsey to act. So dog acting. Uh, at the end of the day, you can't make an animal act. It's just a, a natural thing that they have to have. And he did. Uh, some of the looks that he does at certain points are just perfect. Like It's as if he's listening to the scene and thinking, OK, so I, I put this look here and it will work amazing. Bit of directing there. So uh, yeah, he, he was a born natural star. Because I suppose no matter how well trained he is, he is a dog. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. People think he's a little human, but um, he is a dog. Um, and, you know, it is basically natural dog acting. Mm. Uh, so conversely, what's the most memorable moment on set? Um, oh, most memorable. One would be um, like the cast having to stick like fish treats up their sleeves and... <laughs> Wardrobe weren't happy about that. Um, but we just had such a great time. Another one would be um, when he was doing his stunt work, so bounding off the kids. He used to knock them over because he'd do it too hard and be too enthusiastic. And I said, but you can't do that. They're kids. Um, so he had to tone it down a little bit. But um, it was good fun and everyone worked really well together. Because, I mean, people naturally, when they sort of meet dogs, they kind of pet them and they kind of get all cutesy with them. Uh, was that Did that ever get quite frustrating? Was, were you kind of sort of hoping that everyone would be a bit more professional, was that was that the case? Well, I think everyone kind of got it out of their systems in the first couple of days, mm. and then after that, they'd roll up and be like, oh, that's Podsy, yeah. and that was it. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, they had enough time cuddling up to him when they were during a scene or something like that. So uh, I think they all got it out of their systems quickly. Of course, David Williams is providing the voice. How well do you think he, he captures Podsy? Oh, I think he's brilliant. Um, he he does a an amazing job. Uh, basically, I think it sounds a bit like Pudsey meets David kind of thing. So um, obviously you've got David's voice and he still sounds slightly like David, so you can tell it's him. But then you've got that kind of like cheeky dog voice from Pudsey. Um, but it is weird. Every time I look at Pudsey now, I think of David's voice. <laughs> so it's quite odd. But uh, yeah, quite surreal. Is, is it quite surreal sort of watching the film back and seeing, you know, Pudsey have a kind of human voice and kind of interact with people? Is yeah, that the strangest thing for me actually wasn't the voice itself. It was when Pudsey's mouth was moving when he was talking. I thought that was so weird, um, but it was so surreal. And I, I must admit there were a few tears. Mm -hmm. Of course, I mean, it's an incredible cast. Was it, it must have been a bit of a joy working around people like Jessica Hines and John Sessions in yeah, this movie. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think John Sessions was absolutely incredible. He plays his part amazing. Um, and do you know what? He plays the villain, but he's one of the nicest people I've ever met. He was so sweet. Um, and But yeah, the, the rest of the cast was amazing as well. Olivia Coleman, and I haven't met her yet because obviously she does a voice for a horse, so I never got to see her do that. But... Uh, Oh my God, I love her. 
And I mean, <clears throat> in regards to, because obviously they, they, you do get kind of dog movie stars. You had Uggy from, from the artist. I should probably shouldn't say his loud, name too loudly in front of Pudsey. <laughs> but I mean, do you think, does, does Pudsey really enjoy all this? I mean, did you get a sense that when he's sort of on set and around all these people, does he really come into his, his element? He does. It's quite weird because um, as soon as the camera's rolling or he sees the camera, he knows exactly what he's got to do. And uh, he kind of goes into working mode. He loves what he's do what he does, and um, he's he's a natural show off really, um, so kind of perfect. And do you think the other dogs on set resented him at all for his celebrity status? Uh, maybe little. It was actually crazy. I think for two days we had like fifteen to twenty dogs on set, and that was a little bit crazy. And it was like, oh, which one's my dog? Um, but it was great, great fun. All the animals in the film actually were really, really good. Apart from the cat, that that was the only naughty one. But the rest, the rest, the rest played their part brilliant. And so, looking back over kind of the whole Britain's Got Talent, uh, sort of, you know, the whole the whole experience, it must have been, it must be quite surreal. But it, it must have been an incredible time. Now you've kind of got a few years to look back at it. Yeah, I mean, we have so many people to thank. Um, like, firstly, Britain's Got Talent because they gave us the platform. You know, if it wasn't for that, then we wouldn't be here now. And then uh, Psycho and my management, Royal Global, they've played a massive part. And then finally Vertigo for actually letting us do Pudsey the movie. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, there's just so many people involved. And um, it's just great for it actually to be happening now and, um, you know, nearly, nearly out in cinemas. And do you keep in touch with many people from that time, the judges and other contestants and stuff like that? Um, I think David has been the one judge that has really, really supported us. Um, we did Mr. Stink for him. Um, he came and watched us in Panto. Obviously, he's done the film now. And uh, so, yeah, he's probably been the one judge that has really, really supported us. And in regards to the movie, what, what sort of tricks can we expect to see from Pudsey? And what was the, the one you think... Uh, that, the, the most kind of extravagant one that he performed? Um, one trick that I did teach him um, was I say, do you want your dinner? And he tilts his head like that. And it's so cute. Um, so he does a couple of that in, in the film. And at that point, I was like, oh, so sad. Um, but uh, yeah, there's other tricks. Like he's, he's ones that he's most well known for, like dancing. And then uh, some stunts as well. Mm. So yeah. Are you sort of continuously teaching him all the time? Is, is, is it kind of a, a regular thing for you? Yeah, I try and think of new tricks, which is the, the most difficult thing because it feels like he's learned everything. <laughs> so I have to go through and think, okay, what, what new ones could I make now? Um, so that's probably the hardest thing for me. Uh, so just finally, what does the, the future hold now for yourself and Pudsey? What, where, what can we expect from the future? Well, Pudsey the movie, maybe Pudsey the movie too, you never know. Um, but we're, we're doing Who Let the Dogs Out at the moment and Panto again this year, Bristol. So yeah, another busy year. Brilliant. Well, congratulations and good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank you very much.